Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at two more um, area under curve problems, area between curve problems. So uh, we are, what we have to do is compute the area bounded by a line and a curve, or two curves. So suppose we have a line like this, and a curve like this, and there's a sort of area in between them uh, here. What is the area in terms of square units of the um, x, y axis? So we call this curve here f of x and this this line here g of x. What could happen though is you could actually have two. I'm just going out a shot there slightly. I just sort of there we go. Uh, what it could happen is that you could have um, two curves as well. You can make the problem a bit more complicated. You have a uh, uh, two the uh, two lines. There's a, so the, the the problem would get a little bit more complicated than that. But anyway, the key thing here is so you have to know exactly where the the lines or two curves intersect, or particularly with regards to the x-axis. So you have to know a and b. So compute the area. So what we do is we simplify this term here f of x minus g of x and we just simplify that to a simple expression and then it's a definite integral problem f of x minus g of x the, the definite integral from a to b okay uh, so again find the points of intersection of f of x and g of x and again we only need the x coordinate if you have a negative value just disregard the sign if your definite integral turns into a negative value just disregard the sign and remember to specify units. Okay, so units uh, are of area squared at the end. Now, I've done some of these presentations before, so I am going to go to the ones I've not done here. I have six in this slide set altogether. I'm just going to go down to the ones I have not done yet. And there we go. So, two more are remaining. I've done four already. So, we're going to do this. these last two here. So, uh y equals 5x minus x squared and y equals 2x. Now an important thing here is if you look at the quadratic there, the quadratic is uh, y equals 5x minus x squared. Uh, that's a curve, it's a quadratic curve and it is essentially upward facing so it sort of looks like this. Okay, On the xy plane so that's just not particularly great depiction there. Uh, we also have this line y equals 2x so let's just say that goes looks something like this okay the shaded area that we're interested in in finding the area of found uh, find the area bounded by the curve it's this area here and we want to find out what that area is in terms of square units so um, that's y equals 2x, that line there, and y equals 5x minus x squared. Okay, but what we have to do is find out the upper and lower bound of this area between the curves, a and b. Okay, so what's the lowest x value, what's the highest x value? So essentially what we do here is that f of x equals g of x. Now I'm going to let uh, y uh, equals 5x minus x squared. I'm going to let that equals f of x and this one g of x. Okay, so 5x minus x squared equals 2x. So necessarily we would say if you just saw or solve that you've got x squared minus 3x equal to 0. Okay, that's a quadratic expression. That's what you're sort of usually looking for in the, these sort of questions. We can factorize th factorize that as x times x minus three equals zero. So solving that as a quadratic expression, x equals zero, x equal to three. <coughs> okay. So actually, again, once again, our y-axis is a little bit further away than it should be because they actually intersect on the y-axis. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. We know what A and B are. So let's just look at the expression we're going to use. Those are just some old slides there. fx minus g of x. Simplify that and also get the definite integral. So let's go back to our worksheet there. That's the next one. So integral 
from 3 to 0 of 5x minus x squared, that's f of x, minus 2x, which is g of x, equal to uh, d, and that as a definite integral. So 5x minus x squared minus 2x, that works out to be, if you simplify that, you get 3x minus x squared dx. Okay? This is a, turns into a straightforward definite integral problem, so that is 3x uh, squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3, a definite integral evaluated from 0 to 3, okay? So that works out to be 27 over 2, so that's 3 squared times 3 is 27 over 2 minus uh, 27 over 3, okay, minus 0, minus 0, okay, and that is equal to 13.5 minus 9, um, minus 0 minus 0 and that's 4.5 minus 0 so what the answer is 4.5 square units so that's the answer to the first one there 4.5 square units okay so let's just look at the next one here now and we'll finish up find the area enclosed by the curve y equals 4 minus x squared and x plus 2. This is very similar to the last one so I'll just be very quick through it. So even the curve looks pretty similar so I'm just actually going to calculate a and b so uh, the upper and lower bound so 4 minus x squared equals x plus 2 so uh, just uh, simplify that get a one simple uh, quadratic expression for both of them and what you should get is x squared plus x plus 2, or sorry, minus 2 equals 0. Uh, factorize that, we will get x plus 2 times x minus 1 equals 0. So x equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 1. So that's the upper and lower bound. And what I'm going to do in this one is I am going to let... No, I'll just, I'll just go this. So what I'm going to do here is let this equals f of x and this equals g of x. Okay. So integral from 1 to minus 2 of 4 minus x squared minus x plus 2 dx that is equal to the integral of 1 uh, from uh, minus 2 to 1 of just write this out 2 minus x minus x squared if you just simplify that dx that is equal to 2x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 evaluate that at 1 and minus 2 and what do we get uh, 2 minus 1 half minus 1 third that's the upper bound minus minus 4 that's 2 times x when x is equal to minus 2 uh, minus 2, x squared is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and we have minus x squared, so we have minus 2, and finally, minus, minus 8 cubed over 3, okay, the two, uh, the two minus signs cancel out, so we just have 8 over 3, and now all we have to do is just sort of do a bit of pen and paper uh, calculator work. 12 over 6 minus 6, uh, 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6 on this side 
and we have minus minus six over th uh, so put that over three so we have minus eighteen over three plus eight over three and there we get seven over six whoops seven over six plus ten over three get a, a bit of an awkward number 27 over 6 or 4 and a half. so it's 4 and a half square units so that's the answer to the second one 4 and a half square units again uh, units squared and we leave it there